Creativity is a level playing field and action for all humans to engage in because we're bringing imagination to life. When you begin to acknowledge your creativity and put it into action, you're opening doors of opportunity for yourself. You're inviting a sense of deeper satisfaction into your life because you're exercising a part of you that needs to be in balance. Because creativity is not this elite thing reserved for artists. It is not just accessible only to artists. It is a level playing field. Creativity is for everyone and everyone has it. And you say, what do you mean? I don't think I'm creative. But you are because creativity is the action of bringing what's in our imagination to life. It means anything you think about, anything that you dream of through the day that you want to put into action is your creativity in process. Okay, so you imagine it, you create it. And that could be as simple as making toast with peanut butter, or it could be as elaborate as writing a play. It could be as simple as taking a new route to walk the dog because you imagined exploring a different part of the neighborhood. I am trying to simplify this in a way right now that you would have an aha moment and say, you know what? She's right. I have creativity that I haven't been acknowledging. And if I began to foster it again, I think I'd be happier in my life. Why? Because creativity is a lifeblood that brings even the most daily grind to sparkle again, to just have a new breath of fresh air. And I believe that Every single person can tap into this and we're doing a great disservice to our future generation if we keep creativity boxed in and reserved for those with artistic talent, those who demonstrate self-expression in the typical artistic mediums, paint, film, dance, songwriting, music, all of those artsy things we think of as That's for the creative people. When in fact, the person who may be very gifted in, let's say, sports, which might be seen as quite different than the arts, is still a strategist, an analyst, a person who is imagining the use of space, the, the right moves, the plays to make. There is no less creativity that goes into a sports game than into the, a painting or a song. I believe that creativity is in all actions. It's just like what level do we let it express and what medium do we let it express? So there's like there's amounts of energy that we'll put into our creativity and then there are forms of expression. So there are mediums in which we'll use. So right now I am using the medium of my microphone and all of my creativity to deliver this YouTube video. But there might be another time that I grab my guitar and I strum away and I use the medium of a guitar to pour out my creativity. And if you were to take away all of my arts and I am a multi-form artist and over the course of my life, I've lived like a lot of different opportunities and experiences that have allowed me to live a very artistic life, not just a creative life, but an artistic life. I've lived a decade as a portrait photographer, seven years as a professional potter. My work has been shown in galleries. I have song written and really been immersed in the performing arts, which is now being demonstrated over on my kids' YouTube channel, MJ and Missy May, where I perform with a hedgehog puppet. That's right. You heard it right. I have a hedgehog puppet. You can see me over there performing for kids. And why do I even perform for kids? Because I want kids to see creativity in action, someone using their talent for kids. And then I also want to unlock kids' imaginations that they could use their creativity. So that's a side note. But if you were to strip aside all, 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 all of my talent and set it aside for a minute and just say, Mary Janelle, do you still feel creative with no artistic talent? I would say 100% yes, because there are times in my life where I've burnt out or I've had 
blockages of, you know, the, the creator's blockages and had to like pack up my talent for a bit and take a time out and just like live like not exercising that form of art and in it I have found myself to flourish in whatever like and I should back up flourish creatively in whatever was before me because I see everything that we do as creative and a creative opportunity and so if you begin to shift your mindset to not just equate creativity and art and see creativity as everything that comes out of your imagination, no matter how little or big, you're going to be able to, number one, acknowledge your creativity in a whole new way, give it license in a whole new way, and foster it to the point it's going to begin to grow and flourish. And when we grow and flourish creatively, we're be- we're coming one step closer into wholeheartedness. And I've got lots of podcasts over on the playlist, The Mary Janelle Show, on coming into wholeheartedness. Podcasts where I talk all about living whole and creative. My channel is all things creative. You can find out more about coming into wholeheartedness over there, but it's essentially living authentically you and to live authentically you it's living creative it's giving your creativity license and acknowledging it's not reserved for the arts (laughs) creativity is a level playing field and action for all humans to engage in because we're bringing imagination to life that's my definition of creativity and i hope today it kind of blows the lid off of yours and gives you some inspiration, the ways to help encourage people around you. And I, I don't want to say creative people around you because I want to change our dialogue that we would begin to see people as creative. So if you begin to see creativity differently through a new lens of being accessible and fluid in our life actions, you are going to begin to support the people, the creative people in your life better and more wholeheartedly. And that's amazing. It's going to also be enhancing your relationships. If there's something interesting here that has caught your attention, leave a comment below. I'd love to converse with you, find out what's mattered, what's meant something to you as you've taken the lid off your creativity. Here on YouTube, do all those things that YouTube needs us to do. Hit the like, the bell, the subscribe, share this with someone that you think it matters. You can find my other channel, MJ and Missy May, where I create children's content as well. I have a link down below linking to Amazon where I've written and illustrated a children's book called Wait, Darling, Wait, which is a precious, timeless parable of patience and positivity that you'll definitely want to read to the children in your life. Thank you for being here. Until next time, keep at all things creative. Where do I begin understanding you?